away from Houston, and they're preparing a little early uh, jive turkey for us uh, in the uh, Y106 kitchen right now. Okay, let's listen in. So let's do what we have to do here. This is called a jive turkey. Okay, fixing or preparing a jive turkey. Right, this right. is a recipe in preparation thereof who to a four with. And this has been handed down in the family for... Handed down for couple years now since okay. I started doing it. All right. Now, what do we got to do first? Okay, let's get the, the ingredients here. Some eggs. Ingredients. And I got the eggs right Four over eggs. here. Okay. Right. And some bread of crumbs. Right in the can canister right there. There we go. All right. All right. Half a cup of celery. Celery. Right. Okay. And uh, let me see. Uh, that onion soup mix. Okay. What kind do you want? The, the Lipton. Lip Lipton. Right. Cup of soup mix. Okay. All right. Onion mix. What else we got here? All mm -hmm. right. Now, Hammy. All right. First thing we got to do, of course, I washed the turkey already. You, if you could just help me, just pull it, get in there and pull out those I'm not, butts. I'm not, I'm not reaching in that carcass. I'm not pulling that stuff out. Yeah, just reach right in there. No, right you there. do it. All right, you here. You do it. Oh, <laughs> Here, hold this. No, I'm not touching it. Get away All from right. me with that. So we'll just set Get aside. out of here. We'll use that for dessert. Here, put it over on the table. All right. Now, of course, we have to cut little slits in the turkey to put the garlic. So well, what, do you, what do you have? A, what do you got? The switchblade. You're going to use a switchblade on yeah. a turkey? Right. Now, you're going to cut what? Cut a little? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Is that so it can kind of breathe when it's in the oven? Right, you get to soak up all the uh, juices and stuff the there. Juices, right. okay. What else we got? All right, we got the celery, the onions, all right. Okay, yeah, it looks like you got all the ingredients. Oh, one more, the most important ingredient. What's that? I almost forgot. Uncooked popcorn. Uncooked popcorn? Yeah, use a whole cup. I've never heard of anybody with turkey dressing using popcorn. <laughs> That's right. Okay, right. just put that in there. Is this it over here? Pour the popcorn in there. Okay. All right, and the other ones, some of those... Uh, well, wait a minute. What are, what are these for? What are, what are... Those are the handcuffs. There's, there's just tiny little baby handcuffs. What are they? <laughs> They're to tie up the legs of the turkey. Oh. All right, so well, what, just... is, what about the whip? What are... I don't know. I came with it. Oh, okay. I don't know. So, All right, so all now right. what? So tie it, put, so lock up the... Put the uh, handcuffs around the legs. Okay. All right. Now lock it up. Okay. Both legs? Right. All right. All right. Got it. Now we set the oven to 375 degrees. All right, wait a minute. Let me do that. 375. Okay. All right, you ready to run? What do you mean? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of the kitchen because that popcorn is going to blow the turkey's butt right out of the oven. <laughs> Six. Whoa, uh oh, oh, hotline's ringing, hotline's ringing. I better answer it. Hello, hello. The girl can't help us. She knows love. What's happening? Mr. Goody, how are you this morning? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm coming to you by remote this morning. Yeah, I understand it. The quality is a little bad, Mr. Goody. I remotely remember what happened over the weekend. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, let, let me tell you something, son. What is a, where, where, where are we? I have no idea. I think we were in Lakeland for the Journey concert. Is that what you're trying to remember, Mr. Goody? That's right. That's right. I got my ticket stubs right here. Well, how did you enjoy the concert? Well, it was okay, but we had a little problem with the festival seating we were doing up there. Yeah, they were, there were too many people with not enough seats, Mr. Goody. That's just a tragedy, you know? I know. We, we couldn't cram enough fat black women in there. Well, we did manage to get a few, though. That's right, and uh, wait a they gave me an idea. You, you want to hear a, a, a stroke of genius this morning? What is that? I am now offering festival seating myself. Where are you offering festival seating, Mr. Goody? We are offering it, but, for, but a special offer one time and one time only in the back of my limousine. Jiffy Lube wants to know what brought you to the J-Team. I used to take my car to gas stations to be serviced. That meant a day out of work. Just 59 cents a pound. Price effective through November 26th. Extra is what you've been waiting for. Extra is what you deserve. The Extra Superfood Center now open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on Route 436 Semaron, south of University Boulevard. It's 8, 10, 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. Jerry and Chris in a new contest this morning. Mm -hmm. That's called Quick 
quiz. And the basic premise is we will give you a subject. We'll give you 10 seconds to name everything that you can think of as that subject. Sort of like breakfast cereals. Right. And or you have to or name. Uh, brands of toilet paper. Also, you have to be caller number 16. When you hear the time to call in. That's right. So it's, uh, it's a quick quiz. When you hear us say call in for the quick quiz, it's a little, uh, you, you will know, trust me, you will know when to call in. Why don't we, why don't we play the little bed for them so they can, you That's know, right. recognize well, let's, let's surprise them. You want to just yeah, surprise let's just, them? we got to wing the whole thing. Anyhow, let's surprise them. Okay. It'll be better to surprise them. Trust me, you'll know when you hear it. Just call in, and uh, we'll give you a subject, and you've got 10 seconds to name everything that you can that falls within that subject, and we'll pay you $5 for each correct answer, and the decision of the judges is final. Mm-hmm. We don't know who the judges are, but their decision will be final. Music Radio. Since disc jockeys have had jobs, remember our motto, the man who can smile when things go wrong has us to blame it on. A little true love at 818. It's uh, 18 minutes after 8 o'clock with Jerry and Chris. We're a little excited, a little nervous. To, we're getting uh, ready to give away a little money. Yes, we're going to get ready to try. It depends on the uh, authenticity and the quickness and the... Uh, I don't know, the uh, overall anim animal intelligence of uh, one of our <laughs> listeners. So this is the inaugural game of Quick Quiz. We'll be playing it every morning when we give you a subject, and you have to tell us everything about it. Let's limp our way through the first edition of Quick Quiz. I have Kelly Burke of Orlando on to play the Quick Quiz right now. Kelly, how are you? Fine. Are you uh, excited? Um, yes, a little bit nervous. <laughs> are you ready to think off the top of your head, Kelly? Okay. Okay, Kelly, this is the first time for this contest, so let's just hope it works as well as we've planned it. Kelly? Uh huh. You're ready? Yes. Okay. The subject this morning is name as many Y106 air personalities before you hear uh, the gun. Okay, now, Kelly, the way we play the contest is we're going to give you 10 seconds. We give you the subject, and you have to name everything you can about it. You have the subject. Y-106 air personalities. And you've got 10 seconds from... Wait a minute, I mean as many people as I know? That's right, as many Y-106 air personalities as you know, beginning right now. Okay, Ray Rainbow Johnson, Chris, Ken, Jerry, um... Kevin Casey? No. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Three out of four ain't bad. That's right. Rainbow Johnson is not an air personality, but Ken, Chris, and uh, and Jerry are. That's mm -hmm. uh, five times three. That's 15 bucks for Kelly, and uh, we'll pay her uh, about as much as Kevin Casey is worth, which is nothing. So that's mm -hmm. $15, and that's the first edition of Quick Quiz. We'll play it again tomorrow, and I don't know about you, but I can hardly wait. <laughs> Hi, this is Tim Feeney, President of Diamonds and Gold of America. Orlando's high-quality, low-priced diamond and gold factory. And financing available. Audio Spectrum, in a convenient mall near you. Florida Mall, Altamont Mall, and Orlando Fashion Square. Say 22, did I say that? 22 minutes after 8 o'clock, Jerry, Chris, Ken, Ray back, and I have traffic right after this. You will be amazed at how much cruise we give you in just one day. Call your travel agent or see escape. Ships Registry Bahamas. I have traffic. Fine, one of us has traffic. I-4 westbound, bumper to bumper from 436 to Lee Road. Loma westbound clearing up through Winter Park. 436 heavy from the East West Expressway to Curry Ford Road. 74 right now. Look for partly cloudy. Continued warm. High in the mid 80s. Facial hair is out, according to the American forecaster for 1987, and so is skiing, Chris. Mm -hmm. In fact, researcher Kim Long expects the ski industry to suffer heavy losses as golf and tennis become more popular. Sure. Yeah, not with me. Oh, this could help make skiing less popular. 1,000 snow bunnies and hikers are stranded out on Mount Baker in Washington State. Flooding from melting snow has washed out all the roads. You could be stuck in worse places than a ski lodge, though. Wake Forest University researchers say you'll be less boring if you don't ask too many questions. Don't try too hard to be nice. And if you quit using slang, dig it, dude. Details and other bits. The liquidation sale starts Friday at Don Reed Ford. Jay Byron's after Thanksgiving sale on Friday and Saturday is a. Why 106, it's now time for my favorite uh, portion of the show when uh, Chris and I get in our birthday suits, but you're still wearing your shoes. <laughs> and most and of much more, folks, much more. Happy birthday today to comedian Rich Little. Old Rich is getting up there. He's 48 years old That's today. hard to believe. Cartoonist Charles Schultz is 64 today. Speaking of getting on up there, Fleetwood Mac's rock and roller John McVeigh, 41 today. I thought it was McVeigh. 
McVee, McVeigh. McVeigh. Is it Hawaii or Hawaii? I say tomato, you say tomato. I say Grenada. Is it Hawaii or Hawaii? I say Hawaii. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Singer Robert Goulet is 53 today. Rita Courtesy is 51 today. Happy birthday, Rita. And she lives in Orlando. Jennifer Shorey is 15 today. Happy birthday, Jennifer. I'll let you take the next one. <laughs> no, I gave it to you. Wendy, Wendy Yogi is Yogi. Uh, <laughs> Yogi 17 Mayor. years old 17. today. Dennis McCall is 16. And we'd like to wish a happy, happy birthday to Danny Roach, who's a birthday today. Also, Barry Gordy Jr., the legendary founder of Motown Records, was born in Detroit on this day in 1929. He's 57 years old today. The reason I did such a long number on that is we will have Motown memories in about 10 minutes. It's a good, good morning. Yeah. It's a great morning, Orlando. Get out, get out and grab her by the drumstick, baby. On Y106.